ready to go from our showroom to your garage is this beautiful 1968 Olds 442. It's powered by an awesome running 455 with uh, Eldebrock uh, aluminum heads, carburetor and intake. It also has uh, Eldebrock uh, custom wheels. The, the previous owner said they only made these wheels about two years and uh, they look absolutely fantastic. So it's got a really nice set of uh, Eldebrock uh, polished aluminum mags on it. Beautiful body. Really nice solid undercarriage. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're going to see just how solid this 1968 442 is. Uh, inside the trunk is excellent. Floors, frame, everything's super nice on it. I'll tell you what, this car just has that nice lowered look. Laser straight from front to back. It's got a brand new bumper on the front. The grill is in great shape. We're going up underneath the hood and uh, it's got this monster 455. Runs beautiful. It does have working air conditioning, power steering, uh, power brakes. Front disc in the uh, disc in the front, drum in the back. like this on both sides where that uh, sticker came up in there. It's got just a little bit of paint imperfection on both sides right here. Our door to fender gap is excellent. If we go to the lower fender, there's no bubbles or blisters anywhere on the rockers and lower fenders. And uh, if you look at our undercarriage, again on our website, coyoteclassics.com, you'll see just why this body is so straight and solid. It's a really nice car underneath. Very nice original. Um, the windshield's in fantastic shape. The chrome around the windshield's great. No chips or wiper marks there. As we go out across the roof, no hail damage. It's a very nice straight roof. I left the trunk lid open so we can kind of take a peek in here. Um, the stereo system was done by Team M2 Music and Motion. And uh, they did a fantastic job. It's got two subwoofers facing the back seat in behind that panel. And uh, amplifiers and stuff are all back there as well. The trunk floor is super solid. Uh, we do have a spare for it. Um, we just left that out in the detail department so you can see the trunk floor. It's 
got a really nice dual exhaust, no smoke, a brand new back bumper, brand new front bumper. Uh, the car does have a few little rock chips behind the rear quarter, guys, and there's just two little outward dings, probably the jack or something came in contact from the inside of the trunk. Just two real tiny little dings there. Uh, lower quarter's perfect, over the wheel is excellent. There's four more chips and they just have a little buffing compound in them. There's one, two, three, and there's four. So four tiny little paint chips on that quarter panel. And what makes them stick out is just that little bit of compound in there. Other than that, in front of the rear quarter is excellent. No bubbles or blisters in the door. Um, our back door gap is really good. And the chrome around the, uh, check out this chrome, guys. This appears to be the original chrome. The door handle chrome is fantastic. All the chrome all along here around the windows and the drip rail moldings and all the, the chrome here is all in fantastic shape on this passenger side. So many of these Oldsmobiles just, uh, it's got so much chrome on them and a lot of times the chrome is beat up, but this one so far, the chrome is excellent from front to back. Uh, new rubbers are put in during the restoration. They're nice and soft. Corners of the doors are perfect. Well, absolutely rust free. Your bottom of the door. So we go on to the door panel. Uh, door panel appears to be original. You can see just a little bit of wear right here on the corners. But uh, all in all, the door panel is in great shape. Armrest and base are nice. Original handles, it looks like. They look to be in good shape. The paint job on the uh, door jam is just as nice as the paint on the exterior of the car. As we come all the way through here, you can see there's no, uh, no issues whatsoever. The jam is perfect. This is a super nice real deal 442, guys. I love the color. I love the interior on it. The black interior is great. It's got the GM seat belts in the front for three people, and it's got the GM seat belts in the back for three as well. Our headliner is great. The dome light works. Um, I did see there's one little slit right up here on the very front of the headliner in front of the visor. Other than that, the rest of the headliner is fantastic. I don't see any issues whatsoever. Uh, rear sail panels look good. Back door panels look good. Uh, back shelf is all redone very nicely. I'm guessing there's some nice fit, six by nines under there, the way the stereo system sounds. Again, back door panels look good. Ashtray armrest looks good. The seats are excellent. I don't see any rips or tears anywhere in the top of the seats or in the seat uh, seat seams themselves. The seat backs are nice. Look at the chrome guys on the seat itself. That's what I'm talking about on this car. It's just super clean. As we look down this chrome, I mean, a lot of people restore these cars, but they do not restore all the chrome. And the seat chrome is perfect. The, the chrome on the inside of them. Latches and stuff all look good. The exterior chrome looks great. As we go inside, it does have the tilt wheel, which is great for us bigger guys. I'm 6'3", 220. It's nice to have that tilt wheel to get in behind them. As we look above the visors, no holes there. It's got the mirror here. This is an air car and the air conditioning does work and it does blow cold. Um, carrying about 25 to 30 pounds, 25 to 28 pounds of uh, oil pressure right now and it's running about 700 RPM. There's a tack in the dash and that works. Uh, Temperature is running right around 190 to 200. It's got the original Oldsmobile AM FM radio in the dash, which I like, which gives this dash an absolutely gorgeous finish. Um, no one's messed with it at all. The dash pad itself is fantastic. It fits like a glove. So many of these dashes are just, just crap. I mean, especially on the Olds and the Inside here, we do have a Kenwood AM FM CD player. It's got a great sound system. It's got the Kenwood uh, uh, remote as well. So you can leave this glove box open and drive down the road that way. Make sure that's out of the way. There we go. I'll go ahead and leave this on the floor. Um, carpet's in really good shape. The pedals are great. We've got the disc brake pedals, the emergency brake. We just charged it all up, guys, so hopefully we don't have a leak here. We charged it up last week, so we'll make sure it's still getting cold. 
Um, inside the, the glove, inside the door here, the door jam paint's excellent. The corner of the door is good. Not a perfect car because it does have a few little chips and a couple little blemishes, but I'll tell you what, guys, this car is laser straight. It's got a beautiful finish. It's got excellent chrome, the right stance, the right motor. Trunk lift fits great, very nice and flush. Dual exhaust has been sitting here and running for eight minutes. Sounds great, no smoke. I'm hoping you guys get a good reflection here. This driver's side is laser straight. I can see the reflection off the, the white trucks up ahead, the ground. Um, we do have a few little chips and stuff behind this rear wheel, just from rock chips. couple tiny little micro scratches maybe right there. Very, very small. No bubbles or blisters in that rear sail area. The, even the rocker, the wheel well chrome guys, is like brand new. All the chrome on this car was completely restored during the restoration. All the chrome on the driver's side, windows, um, below the windows, the mirror. The guy went all out when he had this car done. Check those wheels out. They're 17-inch wheels, 245, 45, 17. Rocker panels, fantastic. No bubbles or blisters in the door, lower fender. I talked about this on the other side too. It's got just a little paint wrinkle underneath that chrome. I'm not sure what happened, guys, but uh, it's like that on both sides. Other than that, and a couple little chips, that's all I can find wrong with this uh, paint body on this super nice car. The door fits perfectly, nice and flush from top to bottom. Nice gaps, great stripe. Again, your mirror's been all re-chromed. Handles have all been re-chromed. Check out all the door shuts. The guy uh, shows a service date here. This car, uh, we bought it out of Illinois. That's where it came from. Um, back in 2014, got an oil change sticker in there. I use 10W30. Here's your corner of the door. As far as the door panel on the driver's side, absolutely perfect. The chrome on the door panel, even check that out guys, it's just super clean. I think whoever ends up with this Real Deal 442 is gonna be super happy with it. Especially, I mean, it's got air, it's got the, uh, the stereo system. Seats in fantastic shape. No rips or tears, not even when you're coming in and out. That's all nice and clean. The air conditioning is blowing cold. Go ahead and shut that off. This car sounds nice, not overbearing, just a nice crisp sound. Uh, the gas gauge works, our heater works, the air conditioner works. Um, uh, the park indicator, guys, does not work, like your little uh, uh, orange lever. It's got uh, 6,550 miles on it. I'm guessing it's just 106, judging by the floors. I'm sure it's not 206, so 106,000 miles. There's no wiper marks on it, and the wipers work great, guys. Nice sound exhaust. Another thing, the uh, stereo system on this thing is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it just thumps. Um, it's got great bass in the seats, great treble. The steering is power steering, and the uh, as far as the steering wheel goes, it's super tight. I mean, just super tight to the touch. So definitely, uh, probably a new steering box, I'm guessing. It's got power disc brakes in the front, and the power disc brakes are, are nice and touchy. I mean, it'll... <laughs> this thing just has that awesome muscle car sound. 
All right, so we got a lowered 68442. We hit that big bump back there. It's always a good test if we're gonna uh, rub tires or anything like that. It did not at all. So our shocks and suspension are holding up very nicely. Speedometer works great, doesn't bounce at all. It's sitting here at, 4, 000, at 40 mile an hour, running 1100 RPMs in third gear. You can see out that windshield, it's just crystal clear. Um, the paint on the hood has a beautiful reflection. This is a great car, guys. These Oldsmobiles drive so nice. We've had a lot of Buick GSs and Stage 1s, and, and uh, they're just a fantastic driving car. Transmission shifts nice. This thing just in normal conditions, uh, 65 mile an hour down the road. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Thing? Half of a car right there, guys. Anyway, um, as we drive this thing down the road, no hands on the wheel, perfectly straight. Transmission shifts great, gas gauge works, the dash is crystal clear. Besides a few paint chips, this car is ready to drive and, and go right to your next Boston Car Show. I'll tell you what, this is a fantastic 442. Does not need alignment. Steering's nice and tight.